You know, I'll be uh, getting started in a minute, just uh, waiting for gun smoke to load in here, and then we'll be starting. Hey Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for coming and watching my stream. I'm not good at stre streaming. I'm very new at it, so bear with me in my faults of not knowing how to stream. That's good. I haven't uh, had a hard time with the official servers on Atlas. It's been not too bad. The first couple days were rough, but uh, um, it hasn't been too bad as far as I haven't had any crashing or um, anything like that. When I joined Fell, uh, he was trying to meet up with a bigger group and we were in a pretty rough area. And uh, we were contending with players as well as alligators and uh, giant snakes and everything else. So that was kind of a mess and we didn't uh, get very far. But uh, since I've gone off on my own on the official PvP server, I've done okay. I haven't been on yet. That's but... crazy. Was it just errors that you're getting or um just not able to get uh into one of the uh ports or what was it I'm probably going to hop into Atlas after I'm done on Gunsmoke. I don't know how long I'll be in Gunsmoke. It depends on how many other CPR members are in. Because uh, Gunsmoke is one of these ones where if you don't have a group, it gets kind of boring. Um, so I'll, I'll uh, play it for a little bit once I get in here. But, uh, but if I don't have anything to do, I'll probably switch to Atlas. We'll see if I'm still... Um, Standing in the PvP uh, map. Um, I kind of logged out this afternoon in the middle of the ocean on my raft. So, see if I'm still alive there. Feel free. Like I said, I'm just starting out. I'm not even trying to collect. Um, anything like I, I don't want bits or uh, subs or anything like that but uh, feel free to uh, mention my stream I, I'm primarily gonna be streaming uh, Gunsmoke while I still play it and uh, definitely uh, Atlas because that's the one I'm really interested in now but uh, um, 
I don't have a time schedule. I'm not doing it full time. I have a full time job, so I just do this for fun. But yeah, absolutely. More people to interact with, the better. And if I do make money on the side uh, doing this, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to say no. Um, but I'm not going to be one of those streamers who goes asking for donations or limiting you access to things because you're uh, not donating or what have you. I'm I'm just doing this for fun. So. One downside about Gunsmoke is it has 16 mods and they take forever to load on my computer. I decided not to run Arc on my solid state, running on my spinning drive, um, because Arc is like, and my with all my mods and everything is like 250 gig, and I only have a 500 gig hard drive, and I'm like, I'm not gonna let Arc take up half my solid state. So it takes forever to load into anything uh, in Arc, but. Uh, once all the mods are loaded here, it shouldn't uh, take too much longer, and then you'll be able to see what uh, Gunsmoke's like. Yep, that's basically it. I uh, am a developer for a good company, so they treat me great. I'm not hurting for cash or anything, so this is a side thing. I'm not... I don't block my kids off or anything, so you may he end up hearing kids in the background. Um, it's just me. I'm, uh, you're gonna you're gonna hear me and see me in game as me. Um, I'm not trying to be the next great streamer or anything. That's cool that you made affiliate. It's once you make affiliate that you can start collecting uh, bits and stuff, I believe. Am I correct on that? That's cool. Yeah, if I ever did get to that point where I was making money off of streaming, I'd obviously just put it aside to upgrade this computer. It's not the best gaming rig that I have. It's an old 8-core uh, AMD processor. Uh, it's got 16 gigs of RAM and a 960 video card, but... <laughs> the, uh, I, I downloaded a theme from uh, Streamlabs uh, OBS, so uh, I'm not taking any credit for the uh, theme. Um, I loved it. I thought it, it fit both the arc theme and the uh atlas theme so i'm like i'm gonna go with this and then i threw uh the music that's playing in the background yeah they do um this was the one that this uh, theme really called out to me when i was looking at all the themes so i went with it added like the music in that that you're hearing in the background right now just as uh, a little bit of an added thing so that you're not hearing just the same looping arc music while these mods are loading. My big thing with being new at the streaming thing is to remember to be looking at both of my screens and not just focus on my game screen. So I have uh, uh, Streamlabs open on my second monitor see the chat and stuff so yeah I've got to uh, kind of remember to look at that because I've missed a couple people coming in saying something in chat because I was so focused on my game screen hard to get used to
Sure, I can take a look. Do I just put it on Discord? You can message me on Discord. Awesome. One thing, I'm a developer, I have no graphical talent at all. I know how to code, but ask me to draw something or create something uh, graphical and I'll let you down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I just uh, watched your uh, graphic here, the No Dice TV thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I would have no idea how to do any of that stuff. So that's cool. Is my audio and everything coming in good? YouTube have to scale it down so that it can be shown on the internet, right? Something massive would be just laggy as hell. Alright, the last few things are loading for ARC and then I'll be starting my stream. Or starting the meat and potatoes of it. Yeah, I got a yet, uh, Blue Yeti for Christmas, so figured now that I've got a good mic, better try starting do some streaming. Want to do a podcast eventually, um, if I get or ever get time to do it once a week or whatever. More for parents with kids and relating to kids on the internet and stuff like that. That's good. Yeah, I wanted to keep the mu the music. A little soft. I just wanted something so you're not just sitting in silence. Well, they started back up the uh, um, podcast. It's a little bit of a different format. Uh, Emetai is primarily running them, I think. Uh, o has a little bit uh, of involvement, but uh, now they're actually allowing um, Scarlet Fury to actually record in the podcast as well even though she's still only 16 so um yeah it's kind of cool that way um but they still do a lot of arc talk and i'm sure they're going to be talking a lot about atlas now too so um you should look it up i think it's called um renegades radio podcast or something like that i'd have to look it up later but uh They've got two episodes posted, and I think they've recorded four. But uh, they're always looking every... They do record... Instead of doing it every week, they do it every uh, every two weeks. And they'll post in our Discord uh, for people to sign up uh, to, to join the podcast. So if you want to get back into the podcast, feel free to sign up now that you're back in our group. Nice... To Nice to have you back in the uh, group. Oh, 
So this is um, gun smoke. Uh, it's as you probably can uh, figure out. It's uh, kind of the Wild West uh, themed, heavily modded Ark server. It's full role play, so you can't do any out of character stuff. So I have to be careful. Like if I'm around people, I'll have to stop responding to um, stream chat and uh, focus on the role play um, because it, you can't type anything in in game chat it has to be all role played out so it's, it's kind of neat um, also there's classes so I've been covering for Emma who uh, uh, is our farmer um, so she normally takes care of all the plants but with her being uh, off with her family for Christmas. I've kind of been just keeping her plants alive as best as I can and uh, making sure her animals don't die because she can tame uh, sheep and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm glad um you, you ended up uh getting something uh good come out of it so uh i do remember the mess and uh i totally didn't agree with it i thought it was a cool idea you had and i think some heads were just too swollen with power um for the reaction that you got but um if it was something that they didn't feel comfortable being part of CRR they should have just talked to you um, on the side and explained what was wrong but nonetheless uh, CPR is um, a little bit more laid back not as uh, full of rules as uh, Cross Realm Rebellion was so um, I think you'll be happy um, and as you can see we are doing uh, a role play server um, here so you're, you're welcome to join us on uh, Gunsmoke it, it can be fun when there's a group of us like uh, Diesel's on here um, Emma Ty's on here Cricket ha was on here until uh, um, Atlas came out I haven't seen him since Atlas came out but uh, I'm hopefully hoping that he'll be back on it's kind of cool Yeah, yeah. When it, once Esme left uh, um, CRR, uh, it all became a mess. Yeah, I don't know what what triggered it all or what happened. Uh, I kind of stay out of all the dramatics and stuff, so I uh, stayed quiet on the whole thing, even though I didn't see why they were making a big deal of it. Um, I really don't like getting involved with that stuff, but uh, I think it ended up being just some uh, they felt that somebody else was taking attention away from them. I don't know, but I don't know the the ideas behind it, but. In the end, I, I think it worked out for you, so that's that's the good thing. Okay, I need to get meat for the dog. Thanks for following, uh, boom. And Boom Byron, I guess, is your name. <laughs> Thanks for following. Uh, w welcome. I'm a new streamer, so please forgive me for my fault. And uh, right now, scre uh, streaming uh, Gunsmoke. I don't stream for very long with uh, three kids and a uh, family. I s stream when I can. But uh, you're welcome to 
join in on the stream anytime and and please feel free to comment or anything I will uh, hopefully be able to catch the comments as they come in with this game uh, or with Gunsmoke because it is full RP if I'm in the middle of uh, an RP session where there's others around I'll probably not be talking in uh, chat I'll be focusing on the RP so that I don't miss any conversation with uh, those in the game. So I'm actually coming up to Diesel's uh, house here. I'm going to see if he's if he's awake, if anybody is awake here. So uh, I'm going to be doing some RP here now. Anybody awake here? Hello? Had a feeling they weren't on yet. So this is uh, Diesel's and Rogue Angel's uh, house. Um, Diesel plays the character JT, and um, Rogue Angel um, plays. I forget what his name uh, in game is, but. But he. Uh, also has a character on here. One's a uh, a carpenter, so carpenters can build all these nice house pieces um, from the castles, keeps, and forts. I believe it's called CKF mod, where everybody else is stuck with basically wood piece the the vanilla wood pieces or the um, settler uh, pieces from the CKF. So the our house is basically all um, settler pieces, so it's the lowest level pieces. So they're not as pretty looking; they're more shack looking. But we made our we did our best. We haven't had a chance to get um, JT to give us some upgrades yet. So, but since this is my real first time streaming, I'll give a tour of our place. Because it is all role playing, um, we have to also make money. So unlike normal arc, there is um, money in the game. So uh, this would be our shop where people would come in. They'd come to our window, and our workshop would be here, where um, there's five of us in this house. So there's actually um, five things going on here. So. Cricket uh, is playing our doctor, so he's got the most stuff in here. He's got all his doctor stuff here. I play the blacksmith, so I got my two tables. So as a blacksmith, I can make lighting, and um, I can basically make uh, all the metal tools, repair tools. So basically anything made out of metal um, would be my, my responsibility. Um, so one interesting thing about this game uh, is if you get bit by a snake or stung by a scorpion, um, you get a poison effect. And until you can see a doctor and get one of these uh, antidotes that they make, um, these anti-venoms, um, you basically will keep on losing health. Even after you die, You when you come back, um, you still continue to lose health until a doctor sees you. If something happens where you get shot, um, because it is a PvP server, but it's roleplay PvP, so there's bandits in the game, and uh, if uh, you were to get shot by one of the bandits, um, you would have to see a doctor, and uh, the doctor would provide uh, instruction just like um, a normal doctor would. Uh, things like, oh, you can't ride a horse for so many days, or uh, you can't do whatever. You can't. Uh, may, they may tell me I can't build my metal tools because it takes too much uh, banging of uh, the metal to uh, flatten it out, or what have you. Whatever the role play, um, wherever the role play takes us. So it, it's kind of interesting. In order to get your hair cut, you have to get your hair cut at a barber. So uh, Amitai got her barber license. So. She, in order to get her barber license, she basically just had to set up a barber shop, which she did here, and send a screenshot of it. So uh, she can now uh, have people come in, sit in the chair, and get their hair cut. 
again, all role played. Um, so um, she gets all the different hairstyles that she can do. Um, she's also, Emmetta is also our farmer, so she takes care of the sheep here. Uh, she can shear the sheep, um, she can breed the sheep, and she can breed the cows. Interestingly enough, she can't tame the cows. What she has to do for, is get the cows from a wrangler, um, and uh, then from there she can breed them. So lots of rules, lots of um, interesting mechanics, really totally changes um, what arc was so you'll see no dinosaurs in this game obviously um even the snakes and stuff are a lot smaller and there's a boar there boars cause a bleeding effect so um i like to try to get rid of them and i try not to use bullets because the bullets do cost money so everything's renamed in the game um to match Wild West names, so you can uh, you can see um, the Ravagers from um, Extinction, uh, but yeah, not Extinction. Sorry, uh, whatever the one before Extinction was, I can't remember it now. Um, they are basically dogs in this game, so we can tame them and have them as like guard dogs. And then uh, the dodo birds are referred to as chickens. Snakes uh, are basically the titan of boas. They just uh, shrunk them right down to be smaller and added a rattle sound to them. The scorpions are also a lot smaller. I think what I'm going to do, one of the boring things in this game, but... Um, we have to make money, and if we don't sell our stuff, our, our, what we can craft, we can make money in a different way, and that's by mining for gold. Um, and it is a little bit boring, but I need to do, uh, do my last mine, so I'm going to go for a little boat ride here. Um, I may run into some people because I'm going to be going through one of the big towns in this game. So uh, Gunsmoke also has towns. Um, and if you uh, run a town or start a town, which actually um, we're trying to do here, um, the Renegades, we call ourselves here, uh, we are trying to start a town. Um, but to start a town, you A, have to have um, funds to start the town. Uh, there's, a, I think, uh, for the smallest, to start the smallest town, it's $500. And um, you then have to have roles. So you have to have a mayor, which is... Um, you uh, everybody votes on the mayor um and then you have to have um a deputy and you have to have a sheriff you have to have all sorts of different roles in the town so it's quite interesting so i'm going to be going to one of the bigger towns here cutting through one of the bigger towns it's um called keystone and um uh, this is my second uh, season, so they do every two months they reset the server. This is my second uh, season playing uh, with these guys, so um, this time I'm playing more of a quiet to myself um, guy who came from um, a thug life in the past. I haven't done anything, uh, any banditry this season, um, but uh, I know some in the group here wanted to do a little bit. But uh, I may stay out of the banditry stuff. I've, I've actually th thought of going into bounty hunters. Yeah, my horse is, well, not really sitting. He's kind of standing, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> so, yeah, once we go, go to Keystone, you'll see this is, looks like a massive town. And it is a massive town. There's... Uh, they're the biggest town. They, they basically have the biggest town you can buy. Um, and so which means they have a lot of residents in this town. And they have many deputies. They have many sheriffs. Um, so I'm going to be cutting through there. So you may hear, hear some role play. Because they're also one of the towns that are very on edge of 
people possibly up to no good. So they tend to be very protective of people they don't recognize or know going through the town now. I think most of the main people in Keystone know who I am. Even though this is my second season, this is actually a new character. So I played CJ the gunsmith last season, and this season I'm playing Ronaldo, or Ren for short, uh, the blacksmith. So I actually, even though I knew a whole lot starting off in the game, I had to, this season, pretend I knew nothing because my character has never been here before. So that was actually a really interesting experience, trying to really pretend I knew nothing where really I knew everything. Uh, for example, we can go to caves to get metal and stuff, and I knew where those caves were, but when I was out with uh, Cricket and Emma, both Emma and I knew where the cave was, but we ha kind of had to pretend we didn't, and kind of we let Cricket discover the cave, but with us giving clues of it, um, to get there, because it got to the point where he was ready to give up. It was uh, quite funny. If I run into a snake or something, I'll stop and kill the snake because our doc requires the venom from snakes to uh, make his antidotes. So here's Keystone. I'm going to come in slow here so you can see when it all loads in because it, it is so massive that it takes forever to load in. Here we go. So here's their entry gate. And now oh, there's somebody there. So I might be doing some RP here shortly. But you can see the town is slowly just filling itself in because it's so massive. It just looks like a town. They have um, shops. They have a post office. They have a jail. They have everything. So... Uh, looks like I can see them all. So, yeah. Appreciate it. So there are people here, but I don't have to interact with them. So... There won't be any role play right now. I'm going to keep going here to where I wanted to go uh, to do my mining. While I'm out doing my mining, it's a half an hour of sitting there guarding my mine. It's kind of boring, but uh, I'll interact with chat. So feel free to uh, ask questions or what have you, because once I uh, get to my destination here to do my mining, it's going to be me sitting there waiting the half an hour for the gold to build up in the mine. It's interesting, and what will happen is I'll, once the mine is done, so for a half an hour, gold builds up as the mine uh, starts breaking down. And once the mine is fully broken down, the gold uh, that it collected would be mine. Um, and then I would take that gold back to Keystone or one of the other towns. And they will have a scale in there to trade the gold in for uh, actual money. So it's a neat, a neat concept. The actual mining for gold is a little bit um, silly because you don't really have to do anything. There's no like mini game or anything, but I'm sure that's because of the limitations of arc, right? They're, they they can't really do much. So I'm going to just put my mind down here. And then I will interact with chat for a bit because I'll be sitting here for a half hour waiting for my, uh, my gold to come in. Hello, how's it going? Howdy, howdy, sir. I'm good, how are you? Good, just came to check, see what was going on. Uh, I'm just... uh. Just doing my mind. Yeah, just, just doing some mind, okay. Just, yeah. Just for checking, because I saw there was a, when I was riding out this way, there's a lot of um, um, things that's hacking or whatnot. I know you. Make sure that it was okay. Oh, okay. Well, it's good to know. So was it was it banditry that you were seeing, or just uh, like the snakes and the uh, scorpions? Yeah, just Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I've I've got anti venom on me, but uh, I'm well aware of all the snakes and scorpions that are over here. Yep. I saw you riding pretty pretty fast when I was um 
when I was up there over by uh, Keystone looking down, um, I, I was just wondering if what was going on. I thought something might have maybe been uh, chasing you. Oh no, no, I was. I had. I had a mission. I wanted to get my mine to head done. It's my last one for the week, so. I appreciate it. Just a, a, a concerned bystander, that's all. I understand. I, I appreciate that. I'll be back. You're, you're okay and you're doing well. I am, yep. And I'll be back by Keystone after to trade in this gold. <laughs> all right. Well, that, that's why I was worried. I saw you uh, running pretty fast. And what, what's going on in, in this um, county right now? Uh, it seems uh, a little troublesome. So, uh just came to just to check that's all uh fair enough my name's rin by the way i'm uh uh blacksmith with the oh, renegade name? it's rin rinaldo but i uh, uh most people call me rin but my full name is rinaldo 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 i'm a it's a hard i'm a i'm a gunsmith okay nice to meet you nice to meet you are you it right in keystone or Keep going down the mountainside to the hill side before you hit the river. That's where I stand. Okay. Well, uh, my group is make sure you... my group is actually right above. Sel no, no problem. My group is actually uh, just north of Salvation Lake, right on right on the Salvation Lake there on the north side of Salvation Lake. So. All right. Yeah, I, I was just a little uh, worried. That's all because I saw you uh, riding out uh, pretty fast and. I really didn't know what was going on. That's why I, I just wanted to come and try to try to see you face to face and make sure you were all right. Ah, uh, fair enough. Well, I appreciate that, and well, uh, I'll, I'll let. Be, ca be careful out here. I will. Thanks, and I'll let, I won't. I won't keep you. You have a good one. Bye. 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 So that is um, how role play works um, here in Gunsmoke. So that was one roleplay interaction. So you'll you'll find that people will have different accents. Um, some will sound more south, have more of that southern accent, or um, what have you, or more of that western sound to them. Um, I'm not good with voices, so you've got my Canadian accent that <laughs> you hear every day that you're hearing now. That's the way I speak in game. Um, I'm not going to even try to do a different voice. <laughs> so as as it was discussed while I was uh, with that uh, gentleman that came by, um, this area is quite littered with snakes and scorpions, so I do have to be very careful. But a lot of times while I'm waiting for my mine, I'll... Uh, collect the rocks here because they give me metal and obviously as a blacksmith any little metal I can get is great but uh, now is probably a good uh, time if you have any questions for me about uh, gunsmith or my my gaming habits or what have you feel free to ask in chat or about anything because we're going to be sitting at this area for a while because these mines are actually unlocked so if I went off to do other things and somebody came by and saw nobody around they could come in and help themselves to whatever's in this mine so I'm going to keep my horse nearby because if a snake does come by horses don't get poisoned like people do so they're always the best ones to handle the snakes. So you can see here how it's working. Gold nuggets are coming in. So I bought this mine for 10 gold. And every, or sorry, $10. And for every um, 100 gold nuggets, I get, it basically I trade 100 gold nuggets in for $10. So, um... So I should get closer to 300 by the time, uh, 300 nuggets. Um, so I should trip, almost triple my money by the time this is done. But I will stay close to the mine and uh, 
on, on occasion I'll come if I see somebody around I'll come here and take the money out uh, just to make sure that nobody steals it but uh, for the most part it's just sitting around here doing nothing a lot of times what you'll see is the larger groups or if our group was on we would have all come out together and we would have just lined this river bed up with mines and then it would have been more of a an RP experience where we would have been all RPing our characters um, doing our mining and having having fun doing other things what have you there are uh, they do have a emote mod in so uh, you can do different emotes so let me put that away and let's see here uh, so I could do like the dance moves that they put in or there we go I can do a floss <laughs> Or than the the gold good old classic dance here. So yeah. So and there's there's other emotes that you can do. You could taunt. You can call somebody a chicken. Throw a snowball. So, usually when there's a group of us here, we'll goof around with stuff like that. So, I'm here for a half hour. Anybody have anything you want to ask, say, feel free. How was everybody's uh, Friday? Oh, that's good. I didn't even realize it was Friday till later on because I've had the week off work, so I basically had to work Christmas Eve and then went home at lunch on Christmas Eve and uh, had the rest of the week off, so it was kind of nice to not have to work for a week. And then I, I don't go back till, uh, well, I go back Monday to back to work. So, but again, it'll be a half day thing on New Year's Eve. So yeah, just uh, give you an idea of our group. So because we aren't a town, we can have no more than five people um, in our, what we call a homestead or uh, what you'd better know in the arc terms as a tribe. So it's myself, uh, Dr. Hank uh, Jellick is actually um, Cricket. Emma Lee Tobin is uh, Emma Ty. Uh, Spudwick Blue is Big Blue. Um, and then John E. Uh, Grandfellow is, um, Provoke. So, um, that's our, our group. And then, uh, we've got, like I said before, Diesel and, uh, Angel, um, in the homestead right next door to us, um, so obviously we work closely together in game because in the backs of our minds we're all part of the renegades even though we had to follow rules in game and uh, couldn't be actually one big group until we get enough money to buy a town.
that was Santa good to you, Johnny, uh, for Christmas? Get anything for yourself or anybody give you anything for... Well, that's always good to be good to yourself. So. I ended up uh, getting a, a couple of uh, quadcopters, but they were both without cameras and I, like, I didn't need to. So I got my money back for one of them. I just brought it back to Walmart and got my money back. And then I went and ordered one that uh, has a 4K camera in it and... Uh, it's controlled from my phone and everything, so I'm looking forward to playing with that as the follow me feature so I can launch it and then have it follow me and do stuff like that. So looking cool. Uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of cool pictures and video I can get from that. Oh, nice. The surfaces are nice. Now, what's the Go? Is that uh, the Microsoft Surface Go? Is that just a smaller, uh, like tablet style, or is it still like the laptops? Or like, what's the difference between the Surface Go and the Surface Book? Okay, that's cool. I've had my eyes on Chromebooks because being a big Google fan, I like having everything uh, Google. My whole house is Google wired, so I got Google Homes all over the place and Google Phones. So I, I, I would love to get myself a Chromebook just to see what they're like, but I, had a, I have other priorities for my money spending right now, so... I held off. So yeah, this is the slow part of gun smoke doing the mines. But let me go back to the mine here and I'll show you. So if you look at the health of the mine, there it is there. It's now at 3360 of 5,000. So that's going to keep ticking down. And as that ticks down, you'll see my gold. So I'm almost at, uh, I've almost made my money back on this mine. So once that hits 100, I'll have my $10. Okay. Yeah, my uh, ten-year-old has um, the eight-inch uh, Galaxy Tab. And then uh, Santa bought my four-year-old and my t uh, three or almost three. He'll be three at the end of the month, uh, at the end of January, I should say. Um, bought them the Amazon tablets, the Amazon Fire tablets, the kids' ones with the heavy... Uh, casing around it and uh, the two-year warranty. They're all Google-based, Android-based tablets, so I stick with what I know. I'm trying to find some snakes and scorpions, but I'm not seeing any. Usually you hear them before you see them because they're so small. I'm gonna go see. I know there's metal, uh, two metal nodes usually down at the bottom of this dried up riverbed. So I'm gonna go harvest those if they're around. They haven't been collected already. Yeah, 
yeah, here's another mod that they made to the creatures. So you can see these are the spiny dragons or whatever they called from Ark. They're or they're known as hor uh, horned lizards here. And there's a doe up here. They shrunk down the doe ed. Where was it? I saw it here. Oh no, never mind, those are both blizzards. They also shrunk down the, the doed and they basically um called the doed um armadillos. So it's kinda neat what they did. They shrunk every uh, everything down to like realistic size and uh, named them uh non -pre prehistoric names. And there should be one more metal node down here. Like I said, because my mind is left mine is left open, I don't want to be away too long when I heard a snake. See if we can run into the snakes. Oh no, it's a scorpion. So there you go. You can see the scorpions are little tiny things. And they give you the scorpion toxin that the doctors need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the uh, the snakes in Atlas are huge too, if I remember. All the ones I saw were huge. I don't know if they're... I guess, no, they had smaller ones too. They had both in Atlas. Those big snakes, the big snakes in Atlas are crazy. There we go, I'm up to $13 already on this mine. Hopefully after the mine is done, maybe somebody will be able to uh, come online and right now I'm the only one online. So yeah, things that, uh, other terminology that they use here, if we have to go AFK, we don't just say, oh, I, um, I gotta go AFK, you have to say something like, oh, let me, I need to go use the uh, men's room or something of, of that nature where you actually go off into uh, somewhere where people can't interact with you, uh, go AFK for whatever reason. So, being with uh, having kids, I have to do that all the time. Um, when you're signing off, uh, it's not that you're signing off; you're going for a nap or you're going to sleep. Um, things like that. It's very different way of thinking for me uh in game because normally I don't uh normally I don't go talking like my character so it took a little bit of getting used to And actually, talking about AFK, I need to actually step away for a minute. So, um, let me do this. Actually, better yet, I'll do this screen so that... Hello! Good they didn't stay in chat. So, I'm um, just uh, stepping away for a minute. Um, actually, I'm going to empty my mines just... Make sure nobody steals anything. And uh, I'll be back. So I put the intermission screen up because now you have a little bit of a 
a, a window so you can kind of see what's going on in the in the game. Uh, but you probably don't have the game sounds. You'll just have uh, my pirate music going here, or not pirate music, uh, Western music. So I'll be back um, in very short time. Byron, if you said that Atlas was a huge letdown for you. I'm just catching up. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't think I could play uh, Vanilla Arc anymore. Um, just S plus mod alone. Uh, I uh, rely on now. So. It, this is actually doesn't this um, server doesn't have the uh, S plus mod, but um, they have other mods that are similar. So uh, yeah, I know a lot of people have had issues with Atlas. Um, it was buggy as hell for the first couple of days of after they launched, but I've been having no problems for the past few, uh, like basically since uh, Christmas, I've had no no issues with. Um, with Atlas, I've been playing on the uh, North American PvP server flawlessly. No, I've had no crashes. Um, I've had a hard time getting going because obviously there's uh, PvP um, troublemakers, but uh, I've been I've been happy with it. So. And thanks for commenting on my scenes, uh, for Byron. I uh, basically just uh, grabbed those from the themes that uh, Streamlabs LBS uh, provides. So I didn't build them. I have no graphical uh, talent myself. I'm a, a developer by trade, uh, my day job. I do application development. So um, don't ask me to uh, do any graphical work because I have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, thanks for the comments. I'm glad. I'm glad you uh, think what I've done is good. 
I figured that, uh, Boom Byron, uh, that you're here because of Johnny. He mentioned that he was going to put my stream out there, so I appreciate you, uh, uh, joining in. I appreciate Johnny for putting my name out there. Uh -huh. I try to hop around. There's actually a lot of uh, Gunsmoke streamers, and uh, I have a lot of Gunsmoke streamers on my uh, list. I want to support all the smaller streamers myself. So um, there's several of the this Gunsmoke players that do a better job at the role play and interaction than I do. So, And they're actually all affiliates, so they actually have been able to make a name for themselves. I may do that, uh, Boom Byron. Uh, I've been kind of uh, sticking with just the Gunsmoke community and uh, the uh, cross-platform Renegades group. Um, but uh, I could be... Uh, convinced to join another group. <laughs> I just get so distracted at work, I'm trying to keep my discords to a minimum because it seems like I spend more time on discord at work than I do my daily job because I'm always distracted. Oh, what messages came in? <laughs> so we're almost done with the mining and then hopefully when I get back I'll be able to find somebody in game. Okay. I'll definitely uh, check them out. Like I said, I'm not doing this as a full time thing or anything. It's just, I figure I'm playing games, I might as well stream them. Now, Emetai uh, tried watching my streams uh, a couple times, and she said that she was finding that they were a little bit choppy, um, but she wasn't sure if it was her bandwidth. She was on vacation. Um, how is my stream for you guys? Is it smooth? Everything sounds good and looks good? Stream Labs, the stream is going well. 60 frames per second, only 1% uh, drop frames. So, but let me know if it's uh, choppy or anything. I'd, I'd love to know. Then I'll have to figure out what I did wrong or how to improve the stream for later. Any feedback on my stream would be appreciated. Oh, thanks. And the stream is smooth, not choppy or anything.
So I know one thing that I'm lacking is my actual Twitch page. I think I put one little blurb about who I am on the bottom of my Twitch page, but I have none of my um, social links or anything like that. I do plan on adding my Twitter um, link onto the, my, my Twitch page as well as my YouTube, because what I've been doing is exporting the Twitch streams to YouTube for more permanent uh, historical archive reasons. So. I understand, Boom Byron. Uh, have a great night. Thanks for uh, coming in and watching me. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for uh, big, nice comments about my uh, stream. I'm glad I'm doing well for a, a new bet streaming. You have a great night. So you can see now my mine is at 11.30 health. I've already got $20 in nuggets. And I'm on my way to uh, making a little bit more. So by the end of it, I should be pretty close to $30. may not be 30 right on, but I'll be basically almost making three times my money back. And then... That money once a week we get to invest in these mines we can get thirty dollars worth of mines once a week every sunday it resets so on sunday i'll hop in and uh i'll uh get three more mines and do this process all over again i usually do two mines and then one mine uh so one day i'll do two mines and then the next uh, uh some other time i'll do one mine i spread it out a little bit because this part of the game is a little bit more boring than the rest the fun part of the game is interacting obviously that's with any game really interacting with people in these survival games i find i was getting really bored of arc for a long time i went off playing other games because i was playing on my own and these games are not designed to play on your own so i do have to check subnautica out though i picked that up for free off the epic store and I know that's a, a game that has no multiplayer and it's a survival, so I'm going to be interested to see how Subnautica is. And if you don't have Subnautica and uh, you haven't picked it up yet, I think it's still on. It might not be. They might have switched it to Super Meat Boy, but um, I know it was on. I can't remember if it was till New Year's Eve or if it was until the end of Christmas, but... It was free on the Epic Store. And if it's no longer free, they now have Super Meat Boy. Uh, or there'll be the Super Meat Boy is the next one that they're going to be giving for free. So the mine's almost uh, done here. 860 health left, so it won't take long.
I got 530 um, health left on this mine, so be able to head back home soon. with the, this being the final few seconds or what have you of this mine I always like to watch it because when the mine breaks sometimes you don't get the rest of the gold out of it so if I found that putting a piece of thatch or wood or something in with the nuggets causes the bag to drop and then you get all your nuggets as well but in the bag um, if you don't, if I took this out, then I would lose anything that was left in here. But I'll probably, once it's down to the last 10 to 5 health, I'll take whatever's out uh, in here out and then uh, wait for it to finish whittling down. All right, so the mine is done. So let's see, I got basically 28 bucks, pretty close to 30. So now I'm gonna bring this into Keystone and trade it in.
a little off track. So yeah, the wolves drop um, pelts, and in this game, pelts you get so many you can trade them in um, to get money as well. So you trade regular pelts in to the trapper's hut for trapper's pelts, and then you bring the trapper's pelts in to um, the main town, uh, the basically the admin's town, uh, known as Juniper, and in Juniper you can trade those um, pelts in for money so it's neat a uh, neat thing as well i haven't actually done it myself yet but all right so there might be some role play in here coming back in the main town so gotta go get to the post office i think this is the post office over here nope yeah Here's the post office. So yeah, you go into any town um, that has a post office, they usually will have one of these scales. So you put your gold nuggets and then you they craft all. So I'll get $28 plus a few dimes. Plus two dimes. There we go. Hello. You looking for Maggie, I think? Uh, no, I was just uh, trading in my uh, gold from the mine I just finished. Oh, never mind. I thought you was with this woman over there. Oh, no problem. So I'm just, now that I got my money, I'm going to head back to the house and lock my money up. And then uh, I'll maybe go over and see if anybody is online. If nobody's online, I may um, take a quick break and switch over to Atlas.
I forgot to figure out where I parked my boat. Or my raft, I should say. I think it's on the other side of this. Yeah, the one thing uh, I love about Gunsmoke County is just how gorgeous it is. Just amazing. Is that a person? No came out here. Whopping fish out of water. Oh no, that doesn't look like a person. What the heck is that? That's another fish out of water? Yep, that looks like another dead fish. Huh. Alright, back on track. But yeah, just the scenery of gun smoke is gorgeous.
Best it. I'm just going to clear up my horse's inventory here, and then I'll go move on and see if anybody's awake. Yeah, and I have to, we own an oil rig, and that oil rig is supposed to be repaired on a daily basis, so, um, I didn't realize that, but I was informed yesterday when I played. these horses and donkeys in some sort of order. Really need to get a barn for them all. This is a fast horse. See that one. Doesn't even seem that fast. Only one twenty six. Ah. 
Alright. What else do I have a I can get rid of? Fiber. You know what? I'm keeping my fiber in here. Alright. Cool. Lock my money away. not really locked away because anybody in the group here can access it, but well that takes a dollar Are you still sleeping? Or Doc didn't looks like he fell off his bed. Alright, nobody's awake. Uh, let's go see if anybody's awake in the other house. I'll probably take it for. Oh, and I'm going to go check on the oil rig as well. Let's do that first. The oil rig needs repairs. What do I need to repair? All right, I forget that. Try to get the horse in more. It's got all I'm going to carry. And I need 121 wood for that. All 
pig. Right, you can do it with all that. Or marshmallow. Come on. Alright, you're too heavy, so. Just stay there. My oil back. One sec. Just, uh, let's go. That's better. What is your follow distance? Oh, it's good. Good. Nice thing about this area is. We don't see too many snakes or um, scorpions. I've seen, I think, one snake and no scorpions in this spot. So it's kind of nice. Come on, Marshmallow. Come on. This way. Yes. I can't get in. Wait. No. Your girl's being a little cool. All right, now uh, let's go finish emptying the oil well. And, oh, repairing the oil well. Got the wood up front. Let's see if I have 41 metal.
31 cemented pigs. Cementing face somewhere. All right, off we go to repair the oil well and get the rest of the oil out. It didn't fully repair. I'll do that again. I need now to repair. Oh, no, I did repair. Nice. And marshmallows do have you again. thing I want to do is get the carpenter to make a double door for us with his skills so that we can bring the horses right in. I probably got Don King here following me, the donkey, instead of the marshmallow. 
They're right there. Now I'm set to go see if anybody is on. Hello, anybody here? Hello? Looks like nobody's here yet or online, so I think I'm going to switch to Atlas. I want to throw you that far. That's better. All right. So, um, that's where we're gonna, I think, and uh. Our stream tonight. Um, appreciate everybody who came in. Thanks to uh, Johnny Wrench who uh, promoted my uh, stream. Like I've said uh, throughout the stream, new at this, not planning on doing this uh, as a full time thing, but uh, I will do it as a, a fun thing and. Uh, I'd love to have the interaction like I had today. So it was a great stream. Thanks for watching. And uh, you all have a great night.